the next question will be that we have seen that there is a important non dimensional number called as a Mach number which is the ratio of the fluid speed or flow speed to the sonic speed and therefore uh, it might have its important consequence so far as the extent of compressibility is concerned that also we have seen. So how that Mach number influences the nature of compressibility or the nature of distur propagation, distur uh, uh, propagation of disturbance within a particular medium let us try to look into that uh, bit more carefully. So we will consider some important limiting cases. So this is just to have a physical understanding on the implications of Mach number. So as a first example let us take say Mach number less than 1, just uh, let us say Mach number equal to half. Let us say that there is a source of disturbance which we are approximating as a point source. The source is moving in the medium with a certain speed and let us say that the speed is u. So the source, so the medium is stationary and the source is moving with a speed u is as good as relative to the source the fluid is flowing with a speed of u but in the opposite direction. So there is a source which is at time equal to 0 here, it is moving along this direction say at time equal to some delta t, it is there at this position 1 which is given by u into delta t, say it is moving towards the left that means relative to the source flow is moving towards the right. Then at time 2 delta t it is there at the point 2 and so on. Say we consider another time say at time 3 delta t it is at the point 3 which is again another distance u delta t. So in this way the source is moving and from each of these points through which the source passed waves are emitted. And when waves are emitted, see from the point, so let us say that we are now considering the current instant of time. So at the current instant of time, how much time has elapsed? 3 into delta t. So in time 3 into delta t, if there was a wave that was uh, initiated or that was propagated from the point O, then how much the wave will travel in the time 3 delta t? C is the disturbance of propagation of the wave. So C into 3 delta t would be the distance at which distance uh, by which the wave would traverse. So you have Mach number equal to half that means u by C equal to half. That means in time 3 delta t the wave will propagate by a distance of C will be 2u, so that means double of this one. So by taking this as a center and 6u delta t as the radius, if you draw a circle in all sides, it will be a very big circle, then that will be the wave front in the plane of the figure, the radius of this circle is c into 3 delta t where c is 2u, okay. Thus from the point 1 when the source was at point 1 after that how much time has elapsed? 2 delta t. So by this time now this has emitted something which will go by a distance of c into 2 delta t. So by taking this as a center and C into 2 delta t as radius, this will be the wave front corresponding to the wave that was emitted from 1. Similarly, when the source was at 2, after that 
delta t time has passed. So, it is emitting a wave that is now having a front like this, where this is C is 2 u. Okay. So, you can see that the disturbance is always ahead of the source and the disturbance propagates in all directions just because the figure will become very clumsy I have not drawn the other part of the figure it will be too big to draw here, but just imagine that these are full circles. So, the disturbance is propagated in all in all the directions and the it moves ahead of the source. That means, at this point if you think of this point, this point knows the message that there is a disturbance before the source of disturbance comes there. This is very very important. Next let us consider the a second limiting case say Mach number equal to 1. So, when you consider Mach number equal to 1 again let us take the same example, but just the different Mach number. So, 0, 1, 2, 3 like that. So, here Mach number is equal to 1 that means u equal to c. Okay. So, if you construct the similar things for uh, just as the wave fronts that you have drawn for the previous figure. C and u are the same. So, we will see that these fronts are still circles, but having a sort of common tangent at the point 3, right. So, this is a limiting case. Let us take a third example, Mach number greater than 1. Again, we draw the similar figures. all these intervals are u delta t. So, when a wave is emitted from 0 in time say let us take an example of Mach number equal to 2 that means u by c equal to 2. So, when one wave is emitted from 0 in a time of 3 delta t it will have its zone of influence as c into 3 delta t and c is u by 2 that means it will be a circle with half of the radius of the distance as between 0 to 3. So, this will be c into 3 delta t. When it is at 1, by the time 2 delta t, it will emit a wave with radius c into 2 delta t, which is same as u into delta t. Okay. When it was at 2, similarly, this is C into delta t. So, in this way, 
it is possible to draw envelopes of these particular figures and it will give something which is very, very interesting. So, if you draw an envelope of as a common tangent to all these circles, so what does this line represent? See all the waves are confined within this zone, so this is like a cone in a three dimensional space. So, these green colored lines are the bounding lines edge views of that uh, bounding lines of the cone. So, all the waves are confined within that and the disturbance can be understood only if wave has propagated at, at a particular location. So, outside this at any point the disturbance is not felt and within this cone the disturbance is felt. So, this is known as within this zone it is known as zone of action and this is known as zone of silence and this cone which is generated this is known as Mach cone and the semi vertical angle of this cone uh, may be obtained very easily. Let us say that mu is the semi vertical angle of this cone. So, uh, <coughs> you can right. So, if you draw a tangent to the circle, so this distance is c into 3 delta t and this distance is u into 3 delta t. So, sin mu is c by u right. from the right angle triangle that is 1 by Mach number. These bounding lines are very, very interesting in terms of mathematical theory of the compressible flows. So, if you see these bounding lines, any location uh, which is just on one side of this bounding line and just on the other side of this bounding line these two locations are somewhat different. One location will feel the effect of the propagation of the disturbance, other location just on the other side of the bounding line will not feel it. Therefore, there is a strong discontinuity across these bounding lines and as if the disturbances are propagated following these bounding lines. So, on one side disturbance is failed, on another side the disturbance is not failed and there is a sharp discontinuity across it. So, these types of lines are known as characteristics of the physical system. So, here uh, if we think about the corresponding partial differential equations, these are known as hyperbolic partial differential equations and these lines are known as the characteristic lines of the corresponding hyperbolic partial differential equations. We will not go into the mathematical theory of these uh, things, but the interesting observation if you see that say uh, if a aircraft if a, is moving with such a high speed. So, Roughly if you see Mach number less than 1 is, is a relatively low speed flow and these are known as subsonic flow. So, Mach number less than 1 is subsonic, Mach number equal to 1 is sonic, Mach number greater than 1 is called as supersonic. Just some important names. So, it, it revolves around sonic which is Mach number equal to 1. Why sonic? It is like the sonic speed and the flow speed are the same at that particular condition. Now, close to Mach number equal to 1 there are certain names these are known as transonic. So, it is like close to Mach number equal to 1, but one may have a slight uh, variation that means some Mach number say within the range 0 0.8 to 1. Point uh, 2 or whatever like uh, near sonic regime is like a uh, transonic regime and very high Mach number are known as hypersonic flows. So, very, very high. So, anything greater than 1 is supersonic. So, very high value of Mach number typically greater than 3 is uh, known as a hypersonic flow. So, if you have a supersonic flow then what, what is an important thing that you observe 
say you have a supersonic jet, say you observe a jet plane moving uh, in the sky. So, you will see that once the jet plane has moved, after some part of its movement, then only you realize that its, its, its sound that you are getting. And you will see that the smoke that is emitted from that will form such a cone. If you observe jet planes moving in the sky, you will see that it will form this type of envelope of disturbance. Once you are within this envelope of disturbance, then only you feel that it is there. That is why when it is there at some distance such that you are within this Mach cone, then only you feel that yes, you have heard the sound of that. Otherwise, when if you are outside this Mach cone, you are not hearing that. So, let us work out a problem uh, to illustrate this. So, the problem statement is like this. A supersonic aircraft flies horizontally at 1500 meter altitude. So, there is a supersonic aircraft which, which is moving at an altitude of h equal to 1500 meter with a constant speed of 750 meter per second. The aircraft passes directly over a stationary ground observer, the aircraft passes directly over a stationary ground observer. How much time elapses after it has passed over the observer before the observer hears the aircraft? How much time elapses after it has passed over the observer before the observer hears the aircraft? Assume the sonic speed as 335 meter per second and the air and the aircraft creates a small disturbance that may be treated as a sound wave and the aircraft creates a small disturbance that may be treated as, treated as a sound wave. So, it is if you schematically consider it, there is a Mac cone like this and consider that there is this is the ground, the observer is standing here and it is 1500 meter height at which the aircraft is moving. <coughs> in a time interval of delta t, the aircraft has moved by v into delta t, where v is the or u into delta t, where u is the speed of the aircraft. You have to find out what is the delta t. So, that the observer now comes within the Mach cone and so, this is a limiting configuration when the observer comes within the Mach cone. So, uh, this angle is given by tan mu is equal to h by u into delta t and we know that mu is equal to sin inverse of 1 by Mach number from the previous diagram and Mach number is u by c both are given. Therefore, tan mu may be obtained, h is given, u is given. So, from here you can find out what is the delta t and the answer to this is 4.006 second. Okay. So, we have seen uh, that what is the implication of different ranges of Mach number and uh, uh, in terms of the propagation of disturbance and how that may be related to the sonic speed. And uh, in the next lecture, we will go ahead with this and we will move on into some more interesting and important properties of compressible flows so that we will take up in the next lecture. Thank you.